Now to that health care showdown on Capitol Hill. You're looking live at the House Energy and Commerce Committee. They've been going for 19 hours and counting, drafting their version of Obamacare repeal. And this comes as President Trump tries to strike a deal with conservative critics resisting the new bill. Our chief White House correspondent, John Carl, is tracking all the latest. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. With opposition mounting from fellow Republicans, the White House is launching what they are calling a full court press to sell their plan to repeal and replace Obamacare. It's all nighter time on Capitol Hill. On this vote, the eyes are 23, the nose are 16. The Republican health care plan cleared the first of several committees after 4 a.m. this morning. Another committee working right through dawn. So buckle in because we will go until we're done with the amendments. With Democrats doing everything they can to derail the bill or at least delay it as long as possible. I guess if we have to stay all night, I'll stay all night to offer my amendment. I don't think it's junk. I think it's an important idea. As the battle moves forward, Donald Trump, the negotiator and salesman is back in action. He's in a very much of a sell mode. The president is out to make a deal, now reaching out to conservative critics who have denounced his plan as Obamacare light. I think the president was very clear when he said this bill is open for negotiation. The bill as written is not going to pass the Senate, and so we need to improve it. Lie in Ted. Holds that Bible high, puts it down, and then he lies. Overnight, Ted Cruz, once a top Trump target during the campaign, dined with the president and their wives at the White House. President Trump also invited to the White House prominent conservative groups that have already opposed his bill. After the meeting, their opposition seemed to soften. This is a great step in exchanging ideas to figure out a way that we can all be on the exact same page. Earlier in the day, House Republican leaders began the process of getting the bill through the House. So the costs are skyrocketing deductibles are going through the roof. Immediately, they faced loud objections from Democrats. And this is what you've come up with. This is a bad joke. But for Speaker of the House Paul Ryan, the real challenge is keeping Republicans on board. We're going through the inevitable growing pains of being an opposition party to becoming a governing party. As for that dinner last night with Ted Cruz, I am told that Cruz, his wife, and their two daughters spent about two hours here last night at the White House. This morning, Cruz is tweeting about it, a photograph of his two daughters with the president at the Resolute desk in the Oval Office saying our family had dinner with the president and first lady who were warm and gracious. And Robin and George, the charm offensive continues next week. A group of conservatives in the House are invited here to the White House to do a little bowling as they make the case uh, for, uh, for supporting the bill. But, John, still the president faces challenges on other fronts, including that uh, revised travel ban, Hawaii overnight being the first state to file a lawsuit against that revised ban. Yes, the uh, state of Hawaii is arguing that the travel ban is unconstitutional because effectively it is not much different uh, than the first travel ban, which was blocked by the courts. The White House, however, believes they are on solid legal ground, that they have narrowed this travel ban so that it will withstand legal scrutiny. All right, John, thank you.